So my name is Craig Carlson. I'm from the U.S. and I've been working here in Vanuatu for ooh, quite a while now, uh, more than 20 years. And I've been working with Pastor Joshua and other translators on the island of Tana. And we work together in the North Tana language, uh, the Naka dialect of uh, North Tana language. And yeah, so we finished the New Testament and we're starting to work on the Old Testament now. So. One of, the, one of the tests that we do is we will record, um, we'll actually record what we've translated and we'll put it on one of these little machines called a mega voice. Now in the past, we would do the whole translation, put it on the mega voice and then distribute that out to people. But we found this was such, a, um, such an effective checking tool that we, now we can put this right onto mega voice. As soon as we've done a translation, we can actually put this on, put that translation right onto Mega Voice, and we can take it out to people, and share it with them, and play it with them right then, mm -hmm. and then um, just get their feedback right then. So it's a great tool, and also we find that as people do the recording, we go over it and we check it, and we we talk to each other, and we say, well, does this sound good? And this sound good? And we have other people check it, but when you have to actually record it then it's just, it's just like a, a switch goes on. And if there's any problems with the recording, we can say, there might be an issue here. And we talk about it. Is this just a grammar issue? Did we have trouble reading the text there? Mm -hmm. Or is there, do we really need to think about this? So it's become a very effective test for the translation to see if it's coming across clearly and if it's really natural. If it's not natural, people will stumble on what they say. Um, and then we'll find, or when they hear it, they'll, what, what? So this is a great tool. And then, of course, once we readjust the, uh, the translation, we'll put it on there, and then people can take this out and listen to, uh, to God's word in their own language. There's another really great thing about this mega voice. Um, when we publish the New Testament mm -hmm. in pastor's language, in the North Tana language, a lot of people were afraid to read it because it had a couple special characters. Mm. Many people didn't read it well. Mm. Um, and it was, they were just afraid to. Mm. Actually, if they just read it for about a few hours, six mm. hours, they would get used to reading the new characters, but they were afraid to. Mm. But when they listened to the mega voice and they had their Bible open in front of them, mm -hmm. then they were able to follow along mm. listening and, and reading at the same time. Mm -hmm. And it was actually a great tool mm -hmm. for literacy. Mm -hmm. And many people actually learn to read by listening to their mm -hmm. mega voice and just and reading along. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's another great mm -hmm. uh, use of this mega voice mm -hmm. that, that we've been, been blessed with in North Tennis. Yes. So that, that was, that was uh, a... Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>